Good morning, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. My name is Sylvia Cheriton. I represent the American Association of University Women. The American Association of University Women of Idaho fully support HB2, add the words of legislation. Discrimination against our LGBT family, friends, neighbors, and coworkers in housing, employment, and safety is morally and ethically wrong. Finally, after nine years, we have a chance to bridge the ethical and legal protection gap, which has evaded these bona fide citizens. Despite any past personal misgivings one may have had regarding this group, it's, imp it's important not to let any past erroneous biases perpetuate into the current public policy arena. All people, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity, need to be treated equally. American leaders in the past have been called upon to bridge other large ethical and legal protection gaps on things that now are taken for granted. If no one ever challenged the status quo, there would be no abolition of slavery, women's suffrage, child labor laws, or other gender protections such as Title IX. Idaho children, Idaho school children are taught that all people are created equal and that everyone is equal under the law. Currently, these facts are just not true in our state. They will, be, they will, not, be, they will not be until sexual orientation and gender identity are added to an amended section of Idaho Code 187301. The American Association of University Women is comprised of 165,000 members nationwide, educated women and men who support Add the Words. Statewide, we represent 244 Idaho citizens who support this long overdue change to the Human Rights Act. Please stand in your truth on this issue, approve this legislation, and do what is right and just for these people. Thank you. Are there questions? Thank you, ma'am.